While a select few pilots have flown air show performances for more than 40 years, there may be only one who knew he wanted to be an aerobatic pilot at the tender age of 14, Bob Davis. His flight to the Air Show Hall of Fame took him through the Air Force and United Airlines, but all along, his true passion has been aerobatics. Back in 1968, after buying his first aerobatic airplane, a clipped wing cub, Bob could not find anyone to teach him aerobatics, so he bought Dwayne Cole's book and taught himself. It wasn't long before he graduated to a Pitts S1S and International Aerobatic Club competitions. By 1975, he'd been named to the first of six different U.S. aerobatic teams and had developed a well-deserved reputation as one of the finest aerobatic pilots in the country, a competition background that would eventually see him inducted into the EAA's Aerobatic Hall of Fame. But it was in 1971 that Davis flew his first air show, the beginning of a performance career that has now lasted more than four decades and allowed him to fly hundreds of performances, including those at grass strip country air shows with less than a thousand spectators, at the EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh, and everything in between. Along with the legendary Leo Loudenslager, Bob was among a very small group of people to build and fly the Laser, a groundbreaking aerobatic monoplane that paved the way for virtually every new aerobatic aircraft design during the last 25 years. Bob was also among the first Americans to fly the Russian Sukhoi 29, another revolutionary aircraft that allowed Davis to bring his competition and airshow flying to yet another level. Throughout his career, Bob has been generous with time and expertise, serving as an ICAST aerobatic competency evaluator, a safety and technical consultant for IAC, chairman of the ICAST safety committee, and a member of the ICAST board of directors. Please join me in welcoming the newest member of the ICAST Foundation Airshow Hall of Fame, Bob Davis.